face, we know it's walk. Trade the life, you want this chain. Doing donuts in the rain. Get y'all slipping that sustain. I know my eyes like I know gang. No, I send me to the bone. Zippers, I keep shit alone. I can't free none of them killer so it's minutes on the phone. Heard they checked the homie and he owe some face when he get home. Metal jacket, every bullet, then blue hollow tips cones. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to all of the subscribers, that notification gang. You know what I'm saying? We just passed 85,000, and we thank myself, Showtime SP. You know, two mags up. Let me flip my do rag up. Bang, bang, bang. But uh, shout out to uh, all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Without every single one of y'all that watch us, that subscribe to us, that tune into our recaps, and what we do is the reason why we still here you know what i'm saying we cruising 85,000 we're gonna keep moving let's keep punting and running until we get this thing to 100 i believe it could happen but with you subscribing staying in tune you know what i'm saying shout out to everybody that's you know been reaching out been hitting me up uh all of the events that's been going on and things like that and i'm gonna do it this weekend battle rap shout out to my brother showtime sp he's usually here for these you know what i'm saying but he's working i'm working we busy let's get to it so um there's a couple things going on a lot of people hit me up to uh send me the photo of sue surf a photo of sue surf has released online if you do not know and i can't be one to figure or think that people just automatically have twitter automatically have instagram i know there are a lot of followers and people who watch this content who literally come here and want to see what butterfly the one guy has to say about it um so shout out to sue surf if you don't know sue surf um pleaded guilty in a federal rico firearms and ammunition with a convicted felon he received five years in jail he was locked up in october of 2022 received a five-year sentence so he should be out in about the next three-ish years you know what i'm saying around 27 so uh, it's 24 about he got about three about three you know and there's no um there's no parole in the federal prison system, you know what I'm saying? I know people are probably thinking like, oh, parole and things like that, there is none. And I just keep you guys abreast and aware of these type of situations because I know people that are locked up on the state level, people are locked up on the federal level, and all the things that come with it. But shout out to him and salute to him, you know what I'm saying? Um, hope all is, all is well, you know what I'm saying, as well as it could be to his friends and family. And I only update and really talk about surf when there are updates, you know what I'm saying? My boy in there, he, he, he gained a little weight, you know what I'm saying? My boy surf is eating good. Today, you know what I'm saying? Sue Surf and Turf is what they call it, man. Yeah. But now, nah, um, Sue Surf, you ain't even getting your 100 push ups all the way down to one. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, and, and I, you know what I'm saying? I have been, um, you know, working out a lot myself, so I know and see Surf's gained a little weight, but he's doing good though. You know what I'm saying? He got time, he's gonna be all right. You know what I'm saying? And, um, all is well with him. He looks healthy, he got his chain on, he got his glasses on. Niggas always get the Malcolm X. Soon as niggas get up in there, it's just like it's part of the fucking they get their outfit, their commissary sheet, and a pair of Malcolm X. But the nigga cut look good, he's doing good, and hopefully he's well. And when he comes back out, he could be a productive citizen in the community. Because the last time, one of the last times that I personally spoke to him, he said that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the stuff that he was that he was on trial for and being, you know what I'm saying, going back and forth for the government about was previous issues. He was not currently still involved with a lot of the things that he was facing, but he did let me know as a man, you know, when you do things in life, you have to face it, and he knew what he was facing slash what he was getting into. I told him I'd always keep his name in a good light because it's Sue Surf. I'm a fan of his rap, and I'm a fan of him as a battle rapper, you know what I'm saying? Musically, I felt like he was on path, on pace, to be one of them ones, you know what I'm saying? And then, even his battles, like back in the days, you know what I'm saying? I, I remember certain ones, you know what I'm saying? The X Factor, uh, fucking Surf, as soon as I touch down, Surf, the Midwest grooving, such and such nice, what's his name's doing his numbers, and I don't see the Midwest losing, well, I got to think of a few verbs, for niggas that think they ill, I come through that Midwest, come on, you know what I'm saying? That, that was fire. I throw a left and I throw a right, you see X on the screen like I bowled a Sprite, tell K Shine, I do the zipping around here. Um, there's been a huge void left, in battle rap since Sue Surf has been gone. It's not been a lot of promotion. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the cards that are coming out, not just on URL, but on a lot of leagues, have not been like that, and the talk hasn't been there. Verb has been doing a phenomenal job of promoting in his own way. You know what I'm saying? They're not the same person, but Verb, when he's not battling, you see where battle rap is at. But when he's battling and talking shit and going back and forth every day and got it lit, you gotta give Verb his respect, props, and admiration. I'll say when he won a battle, I'll say when I felt like he lost one. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Service photo has released online. Y'all jump in the comments and let me know. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he's doing he's doing all right. He's doing better than a lot of other motherfuckers in them type of scenarios and positions. But I do hope that this is the lesson. And for a lot of people, 
when they go through that, and I know there's some people out there in my comments and in my comment sections who've been to jail, who've been locked up, and who have had to deal with situations like this, a lot of niggas be like, they learn. Like, when they, they, they niggas don't want to be spending their summers, their winters, worrying about who they baby mama with. They don't want to do none of that shit. So a lot of motherfuckers, I just seen a dude recently, the Wendy's manager kid, it was a kid who, uh, who quit the streets to be a general manager at Wendy's. And a lot of people was giving him shit, but I was like, yo, a general manager at Wendy's makes $60,000 a year. I think in the federal prison system might make a dollar a day doing dishes, you know what I'm saying? Or working in the prison factory. So you got a way out, you know what I'm saying, the streets. And I tell people all the time, and I do give a lot of messages about the streets because, you know what I'm saying, when you grow up and when you see people around, you go through that repetitive cycle. It's hard to get out of. But shout out to Surf, you know what I'm saying? His photos released online. Hope all is well with him. God bless. And we'll see him when he gets out, you know what I'm saying? He'll be right back to what he's doing. And I got a television spot. You know I got a spot for you. You know what I'm saying? I need, we can get the interview done. I can make that shit happen when he's free. But, uh, you know, shout out to him and hopefully everything as well. Moving along, uh, Hitman Holler. Shout out to Hitman Holler and everything that he's got going on. Uh, he's looking for an interview. He's looking for some bloggers to challenge him. He's looking for, you know, to, to people to ask him the questions that he need to be asked. He said in a tweet, can y'all find a blogger that's going to ask me the toughest questions possible? This shit is too easy to talk about, whatever. Everyone going to always check out with me. It's never no pressure. Is there any bloggers that can challenge me about anything that the people really want to know? Yo, I know this dude. Hitman, Hitman, Hitman. Q, Q Dub. I'm going to send you this blog. Clip this, clip this, clip this shit. Zip, Nick, screen record this motherfucker right here. Right here, nigga. This is the, the, right here. Hitman. I know this kid named Showtime SP, he got a show with me in New York on Fox 5, you know, in New York. You're more of a television guy now anyway, you know what I'm saying? The battle rap is great, you're doing phenomenal, but we know you, you know what I'm saying? You on television, you on Wild and I know this nigga that got a TV show in New York, right? And today is Sunday, right? Most producers and people are off. I make one phone call today and we can set you up, man. You know what I'm saying? Just come, come on through. We can have the conversations that need to be had, you know what I'm saying? And um, I feel like between SP and myself, I've one that has been given a lot of admiration to, and then when I've had to draw back at certain levels or parts of Hitman's career, I've done that. I've had him winning a lot of battles. I've picked him losing the battles that I felt like he lost. I've judged battles that I felt like he's won, and I love Bags and Bodies and SP. You know what I'm saying? SP is one of the goats. You know what I'm saying? Break down battle, ball for ball recaps, and he's one of them guys. So we can make it happen. I might not be able to, to ask you the craziest, craziest, toughest, toughest to make you want to get out your body, but we could definitely have a good episode. <laughs> and you do the numbers. You know what I mean? I, hey, it's available. We around. You asking? We're not really bloggers much anymore. We more television analysts. But I see you in that light. He got smoke. You already know what it is. It's your man Vada Fly. Got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow. And I'm here with the focus tough over rough. You know what's up when I'm loading up. My man loaded lunch. What's good, baby? Oh, nice to be y'all. Make some so noise. For for yeah, for real. Like make some noise for the for the for the legend. You know what <laughs> right, I mean? Right, right, right. So uh thankful uh, that you can stop by today, have a conversation with us, man. What's been going on with you? How's everything first and foremost? Uh, no, everything's good. We're working on a project. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In the meantime, you know, I got uh some things I've been cooking up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we know that you've been a pivotal figure in the battle rap culture for years. You know, you got over 30 million views. You got Summer Madnesses. You got Gnomes. You got U-Dub headliners. You was kicked as one of the 50 greatest battle rappers of all time. Mm -hmm. Sway in the morning. I could literally could be talking. I'd be wasting <laughs> your time. Mm -hmm. So I want to get into, you know, how has it been mm -hmm. being one of the forefathers of battle rap that's still relevant to this day? A lot of people didn't make it through the transition of years. Can you dodge true? How you living, Mouse? And my mom's roof, I'm hostage, can't find do my ostrich, got a job moving boxes. Yeah, no, uh, it's a, look, it's a blessing. Um, I remember it from its commencement, mm. you know what I mean, coming up in Harlem and doing this on the corners. You know what I'm saying? We had some good people up already. Lux has been up, Rock's been up, Geechee's been up. And I think in one of the episodes, y'all let me know, please, let me know in these motherfucking comments. Do y'all want to see that Hitman conversation? Because I guarantee it could happen. I, I rock with Hitman too, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see where that goes. If you see him on, it is what it is. I got a dope guest coming next too. You know what I'm saying? Another guest is gonna be on real soon. But hit man, let's 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 get to that. I can make that happen. Huh? You a boss? I make one phone call, get you on. We can we can skip all the red tape. You ain't, you could you can release the interview on bags and bodies, nigga. I give it to you. <laughs> tell that nigga. Hey Q, tell that nigga he can release the motherfucking interview on bags and bodies, nigga. I give him the footage today, nigga. Let's do that. Um. 
moving along. Uh, shout out to ARP. Uh, ARP. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm going to talk about ARP after I talk about the Hitman and Moot battle. You know what I'm saying? And it's been still, they still talking and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the battle is going to happen. Hitman's got his stance. Moot's got his stance. What can we do? You know what I'm saying? They both got, they both high level MCs. They both going to have things they don't want it the way they want. Hitman not about to pay Mook $100,000 or $200,000 to not get the footage. And, and so, so I just think that's going to be a sticky scenario altogether. And Hitman probably don't want to be booked by no league and shit. Nigga, I got the episode for you. I'm not even going to talk about this shit no more. Let's move it on. ARP. Um, a lot of people was hitting me up by ARP's blog yesterday where he was like, oh, he's beefing with Hitman and yada yada. Y'all niggas can't see through that? He was just trolling, bro. Like, y'all don't realize these niggas done made almost a million dollars together, son. I cannot believe y'all niggas really sat there, watched that ARP interview, and started hitting me and other bloggers up thinking that that shit was... ARP, you supposed to put a disclaimer in that bitch, your bell, bing! The things that you will see are not really the opinions of Red Breed Entertainment or ARP, but we supposed to be letting them niggas know it's a play over. They thinking... That you really beefing with this nigga. And I'm, I'm, when I'm watching, I watched it for like the whole 15, 20 minutes. It was like an hour long. I'm like, man, y'all can't catch this. He's just joking. Hitman and uh, ARP, to my knowledge, have no beef. But I did pick up on something. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got the, you got the, uh, you got the rewind fire and it's mortifying. In order to get the C4, sometimes you got to see more than what's at the seashore. You know what I'm saying? You got to look beyond. You got to look beyond and see what's happening out there. I don't think uh, I've been hearing ARP and Mook not really that good. I've been hearing that, and you know, I will tell you this. I haven't talked to ARP about this. I haven't talked to Mook. I don't know none of the people in none of those camps. But I know people that know people that know more people. And I'm hearing the ARP was not really happy with the promotion of the Big K battle. The Big K battle is at <laughs> Big K versus Murder Mook is currently at. We're gonna help it today, though. We're gonna help it, y'all. We're gonna help it together, right? So I want I want to do this, right? Uh, let's go Big K versus Murder Mook, right? That battle is today at 997,000 views. It's not at a million yet. But I wanna, I'm gonna go watch it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna press play. We gotta get this thing to a million, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna I'm a press play, you know what I'm saying? We gotta get this, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna I'm be the one to start, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get that joint started. And I'm gonna go ahead and share it to my Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Cause we gotta get that thing to a million. It's at 997,000. Now I think that that's a very important thing for you guys to know. ARP probably didn't wanna pay, or they didn't wanna pay the, the numbers that they paid for battles to not even do a million views. And then Murder Mook didn't promote the battle. Now, I mean, he didn't promote the battle because the outcrying opinion is that he didn't win. Now, another thing, let's go further. True or not true, I didn't see this battle get promoted. When he battled twerk, everywhere, you know what I'm saying? All that shit, they was going crazy when they felt like the battle was good versus Mook, but the performance, I mean, versus Mook and twerk, but the performance versus Big K didn't really get any promotion. I know specifically RBE contracts have different parameters in them. You gotta interview this much, you gotta promote this much, you gotta post the battle this much, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. I know because I've been booked by him before. Yeah. 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 I'm not a jogger, you know what I'm saying? I'm only a blogger. But when you get booked, their contracts look like joining the fucking military. I've done both in life. <laughs> so it has different parameters and sections of things you got to do. And if those things aren't followed through with, you know what I'm saying? He probably looking at it like this wasn't a good investment. So I don't know how their relationship is. I mean, you know, ARP speaks on things on its own time. But I know people that know people that know more people. And I can tell by the promotion because Rosenberg Roy and Charlie Clips came out after, after, and it's already surpassed a million. But we gonna get Mook versus Big K to a million views, you know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas make sure y'all go watch <laughs> Murder Mook versus Big K. Uh, let's see Rosenberg. Rosenberg versus Charlie Clips is at a million views already, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's definitely a thing, you know? And I know for somebody who's as business, business savvy and as analytical as ARP, that's probably not what the, uh, aiming target was just saying um let's keep moving dun, 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 dun. so last night uh one shot battle league you know what i'm saying they had an event uh let me pull this let me pull this card up you know what i'm saying shout out to uh, j2 you know what i'm saying um he was he battled av on the joint you know what i mean last night uh it was uh 
One Shot Kill Battle League is levels two. Ab versus J2, Chef Trez versus Coach Coleon, uh, 40 Bars versus KD, B Magic versus Dreezy. Shout out to B Seth Dizzy. Uh, Glo uh, Gorilla Monsoon versus K Walker and uh, Lady Caution versus Aeon. Um, it was a card that went down last night. There's a couple things I want to say about some of the battles that I saw. You know what I'm saying? I ain't see every battle. If you don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's mad cool. I'm in grad school, so I got a lot of homework. I got a project. I got all type of shit going on. So I didn't even see the battle. My man KO, you know what I'm saying? He hit me up. He's like, yo, you watching the event? Booty, booty, boo. So we started speaking. You know what I'm saying? I get the event. And I'm watching uh, the battles that I did see. I just saw the end of Lady Caution versus Aeon. Lady Caution had got that win. Uh, 40 bars versus KD. Yo. <sighs> Shout out to KD, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he did like a like a love letter, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like his round was cool. Uh 40 bars though, she ain't get through 40 bars, you know what I'm saying? And I and I'll be like, I I'll be trying to watch, you know what I'm saying, and watch from a judicious perspective because I know that people hold her at a high regard. I know she's got a lot of support, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. That shit don't really mean nothing to me because I gotta talk about the battle and what happened. Bro, she could not like get through her round whatsoever. She'll rap like 15 bars, break it up, stumbly blubbly, slippily blipping and choking and joking all through a round. The battle, that battle in particular is not good, you know what I'm saying? If I gotta give it to anybody, damn near gotta give it to KD by default <laughs> because by <laughs> 40 bars ain't getting through 40 bars, man. This shit was crazy. Um, Chef Trez versus Coach Coleon, you know what I'm saying? That was a very, very good performance by Chef Trez. Uh, Chef Trez, man, um, he was dope. Like, even in a battle that I didn't even think he had to go to that level. Because sometimes when people battle on, like, smaller leagues, they take a little cut off their product. Yo, he was still wilding on Coach the whole three rounds. Like, he was going crazy. He said some shit like, <laughs> he said some shit. What'd he say? Um, your name, Coach? You got to be around stars for your legacy to matter or some shit like that. Yo, J yo, Trez, yo, you be bugging, son. Trez be bugging for no reason, son. He's just, he just be bugging, like, just to be bugging. Trez had a phenomenal three rounds. Coach was good, too. He wasn't bad. I just had Chef Trez, like, he was floating. I got Chef Trez 2-1 or 3-0, you know what I'm saying? Like, he went crazy. I ain't going to hold you. I, I can't take no cut off that. Av versus J2, though, yo. Uh, one round battle. I don't know how long they was there, whatever the case may be, but when the battle first started, Ab ain't even want to be there. I think Ab was like, I ain't running. <laughs> Ab was like, yo, let me just rap so I could go. <laughs> Ab was like, let me just rap so I could go, man. I'm not taking no, I ain't bringing nothing back. I ain't doing nothing. When niggas do that, they they on their last dollar, man. They ready to get the fuck up out of there. Um, J2 performed really well, though, man. He, he had some shit, yo. Like, once you get past, you know what I'm saying, J2 sexuality, and I'm very secure in myself, you know what I'm saying, me, I have children, you know what I'm saying, I rock with women, you know what I'm saying? So I got no issue, you know what I'm saying, with anything as far as with the community. And it's Pride Week, you know what I'm saying? Let people let people do what they do and live their life. It's 2024, you know what I'm saying? And ain't, 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 no, ain't no problem with me. I look at it like they leave more see for me, you know what I mean? Like I'm just saying. But a shout out to uh, J2. Um, he was dope though. He had some heat. He, his round definitely was cooking, man. He he definitely was in his bag, and I like dog. J two has been having a good year though, man. Uh, he had the J C battle, which was really good. I felt like J two won, but I ain't gonna hold you. He had Mr. Mills. I felt like he beat him. Uh, he he had a uh, like in every one of his joints recently, he be wild. And in the Av battle, he was wild. Very good round. Av was very very good though, man. Av don't really lose a lot of battles like that. His punches was crazy. Like, he had some fire. <laughs> he had some fire J2 shit, yo. What he said, man, what was a couple of, because, you know, Av joints is crazy. He said, uh, uh, he told that motherfucker, uh, he said, you tell Mr. Him downstairs, be fucking cool, because soon as this Mac back up, it's bust a move. I said, oh! Av was styling, man. I like that battle, man. One round battle. I'll make sure I peep it again, too. But shout out to One Shot Kill Battle League. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's the first really event that I had seen of theirs. I know J2 was supposed to battle against Tay Rock, and that battle didn't happen. So, um, you know, he had to be re rescheduled to someone else. And to be able to come up with that kind of round of fire material in 
a week per se was pretty dope. So shout out to J2. Um, shout out to everybody that watches this content. You know what I'm saying? If you respect the handle, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? The clip will blow. I ain't talking fast. You're listening slow. It's the one guy to buy the fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout at me, but I survived. I'm out. Gang, 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 on bang. You already know the fuck going on. Hey, hey, Q. I'm dead ass serious too. Tell Hitman, nigga. We can set the date up today. I ain't got. We don't have to wait. I only got to wait till tomorrow. I can do it on a Sunday. People are off. I set that shit up today. I promise you. Y'all know how to find me. I ain't hard to find. Butterfly. Blah.